Hello everybody and welcome to this video where I'm going to update you on my medical sitch because that's fun. So I went to the doctor yesterday because as you know my right knee is messed up. I have a torn meniscus and what the surgeon said was he didn't say if it was torn or blown or what, but that I there's something involving my ACL and my LCL, whatever that means or whatever. I don't find that out until like next Monday, a week from Monday. Okay. But last week when I was walking to the post office, I like I put a lot of weight on my good leg because of my bad leg and when I was walking down the hill something happened and like the pain was just a lot and I like was like oh damn and so I didn't know what to do I came home and took a shower and stayed in there for a really long time just letting like the hot water run on it and then iced it went to bed and when I woke up the next day, it was so painful and swollen that, that like, I was just like, oh, this, like, ugh. And normally, because since I've messed my leg up, I've, like, twisted my ankle or sprained my ankle, um, like, at least two other times. And usually it's, like, the tissue around my ankle the, the fascia, if you will, um, that gets a lot of pressure put on it and hurts or whatever. But this time, when I, like, touch, like, the bone that kind of protrudes on the sides of my ankle, like, on the inside, when I touch it, it is super sensitive to the touch and hurts. And I'm like, oh, God, like... I might have fractured something or jammed something or something's not right in the joint there now. So this sucks. So I didn't want to go to the ER. I called the doctor and so I made an appointment. Had to Uber there and back, which is funny because it's 0.3 miles away. There's just no way I could walk there or whatever. I go to the thing. I've lost a lot of weight since I was there before. My blood pressure was way lower than it normally is. All in all, I'm a lot healthier than I was the last time I was seen at the place. The doctor comes in, and I'm, I'm wearing shorts and flip-flops, okay? I'm trying to make this one as easy as possible. Because when I called and made the appointment, I called to get an x-ray. I'm like, I just need an x-ray, and I don't want to go to the emergency room. So I need you to tell me, like, if this is fractured or if this is just a sprain. Because this hurts a lot more than it did whatever. So she comes in. She looks at my legs. She's like, which one is it? And I was just like, you're the doctor. Like, I'm, I'm like thinking to myself, I'm like, is she asking me a trick question here? Tell her it's the... I point to it. I'm like, the swollen one that's purple and red... You know, and she's like, oh, okay. And she's like, oh. she ha Mind you, she hasn't, like, examined me or anything. She looks down, she's like, oh. Yeah, it's a blood clot. And I'm like, what? And she's like, yeah, I'm going to um, send you to the ER because um, that's a blood clot. And I'm like, uh, well, like... I just wanted to get an x-ray. And she's like, oh, well, you can get an x-ray at ER. They're going to run a bunch of tests. I'm like, yeah, but, like, I came here to get an x-ray. And she's like, well, we need to rule out a blood clot. I'm like, okay, well, you know, what happens once that's ruled out? Like, then where do we go? Like, let's talk about things that could happen at that point. And she's like, well... Okay, let me, and I don't remember if I said something or if she's just like, okay, well, let me, like, examine you or whatever. 
So she goes to my leg and grabs my calf and starts squeezing my calf. And she's like, does that hurt? And I'm like, no. She's like, really? I'm like, yeah. And she's like, oh. And then she goes back over to the computer and types some stuff. And then comes back and I'm trying to tell her where it hurts. And she's like, I'm like, you know, like the bone right there. That's like where most of the pain is. And she's like, "Uh uh-huh. Okay, well. And then she like goes back to my leg and moves down my leg a little bit. Doesn't go to my ankle, but just off my calf and squeezing around there. And she's like, "This, you're not feeling any pain from this? I'm like, no. And she's like, okay. So maybe this is like blood clot, but she's just some bad doctor and not telling me anything. She's like, well, yeah, I think it's a blood clot, especially since you said, which I hadn't said any of this yet, since you said that um, you just woke up and your leg was swollen. And I'm like, no, like that's not what happened. And then I told her what happened. And then she's like, but you woke up and your leg was swollen. I'm like, yeah, but it was swelling the day before when I heard it. And she's like, but there wasn't an injury. Like, you don't know what you did. And I'm like, no, I don't know what I did. I can guess that because I'm overcompensating and walking down a hill, that when I took a step and then my ankle started to hurt, like immediately that I probably had something up and um, she was just like oh, okay well um, I don't know if I said this part yet and she's like but you're overweight so that's a sign of blood clot um, or a risk factor for a blood clot and um, do you smoke I'm like yeah and she's like well see right there you know that's a risk factor for a blood clot and I'm like, okay. Um, I, I can't remember what I said. I was getting mad at this point. But then she gave me this look. And she was like... And the look on her face said, oh, he doesn't want to listen to me because I'm a woman. Or something like that. And I was just like, no, 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 no. Please don't turn this into a thing. Like, I don't care if you're a man, a woman, a Martian, a amoeba like all i need you to do is let me get an x-ray and then tell me what the x-ray says like simple you know like you're a doctor i'm in pain hear me out do your job like i don't give if like what your sex your gender i don't give you know so i was just like oh this is like she she's already decided she's like well you know let me listen to your lungs and your heart um and then we could talk about it and i'm like okay So she listens to my lungs, she listens to my heart, and she goes, oh. And then she sits back down and starts typing. I'm like, everything okay? And she's like, yeah, actually. And I'm like, all right, can I get an x-ray? And she's like, you can get an x-ray at the ER. And I'm like, I'm not going to the ER, okay? I made an appointment to get an x-ray. I'm here for an x-ray. And she's like, I don't even think our x-ray tech is still here. I'm like, well, that's silly then for making me an appointment to get an x-ray at a time when you have no x-ray techs here. And she's like, oh, well, let me see something. And then she just starts typing. And she's like, oh, no, no, he's here. He's still here. I'm like, okay, cool. So can I get the x-ray? And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you want an x-ray, you can have an x-ray. But um, you need to go to the ER. I'm like, I'm not going to the ER. And she's like, you could be dead tomorrow. And I just wanted to say, you could be dead tomorrow. Like, we all could be dead tomorrow. Like, what, what the fuck is that? And then she says, she's like, well, I need to cover my ass. So I'm going to write in here that I told you to go to the ER. And I'm like, you, f- I don't know. So then she's like, so just stay here and um, he'll come get you. And I'm like that. And I got up and I hobbled out behind her. And I'm like, I'll just walk over to the x-ray place and walk in. And sure, I get to the x-ray place and the door's open and he's just hanging out in there. I'm like, hey, you do x-rays? And he's like, yeah, you Matt? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, oh, I was just coming to get you. I'm like, cool, let's do it. How hard is this? It's not hard. And then he looked at my leg. He's like, did they give you anything for the pain or anything? 
And I'm like, no, they didn't. But I'm planning on going home and just get drunk. And he's like, okay, but like between you and me, like you didn't hear me say this, but honestly, like the booze is probably better for that than any pills that they are going to give you. I'm like, no, sh- let's fucking do this thing. Oh, <sighs> so, um, I called and, um, even though this is all in house, the results of my x-rays have not been made yet. So, yay. So that is the update. I called back and found out that they still don't know anything about my x-rays. And um, I have an appointment on the phone on Tuesday. So Tuesday, I will know if my ankle stuff or not. By Tuesday, it could be all better and not swollen and feel good. And if it was just a sprain, great. You know? Uh, I'm, I'm just fucking annoyed. I'm just annoyed today. That's it. So, keep buying my books. Your mom is waiting for you. IGG.me slash at slash your mom. Links down below. Ty Bart, everybody. And I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.